Hello, this is Nick from ChartBoost. In this video, you'll learn how to use the ChartBoost SDK's delegate methods to exercise a greater degree of control over showing ads in your game. For example, you might want to have the sound or music in your game pause when an ad is being displayed in your game. You can easily accomplish this by utilizing some of the ChartBoost SDK's delegate methods. There are plenty of useful delegate methods that our SDK offers, but in this video, we'll be focusing on the did display interstitial and did dismiss interstitial delegates and how they can be used to pause the sound in your game. These let you know when an ad displays in your game and when an ad is dismissed from your game, respectively. Let's move to the iOS simulator to see how this will look in action. We're going to request an ad from the ChartBoost sample project and demonstrate how this all works. By implementing these delegate methods in your code, you can trigger your game to behave in certain ways when an ad is showing, and then return it to normal operation when the ad is dismissed. In this example, we've simply logged debug messages to Xcode's console log, but you can use these delegate methods however your game needs. We gave examples in iOS, but you can find the full listing of ChartBoost delegate methods including Android and Unity on chartboost.com slash delegates. For all other things ChartBoost related, check out chartboost.com slash help.